Hey, Star Wars fans and action fig collectors, rounding out these retro collection Wave 2 Mandalorian figures. We have the Death Trooper, and uh, I think this is going to be one I'm going to want a second one of, just to stand either side of Moff Gideon. Um, I think this is a really cool looking figure. Um, and again, like I said with the Armourer review, I've definitely come around on the retros again after being a little bit sort of put off by... I don't know. It's, there's just something that's like I'm tired of them sort of milking it, but um, then I get them in hand and I, and I actually really dig them. Um, so yeah, I haven't got the Navarro Cantina yet, which has the regular vintage card for the Imperial Death Trooper from the Mandalorian. Um, and when I do get the Navarro Cantina, I will be keeping that Death Trooper carded, I think. So um, to go with my other Death Trooper, I don't know, I just really like the Death Troopers. So I'm going to buy this one again to, as a second opener. Um, I think <laughs> I think it's just going to be really cool. I look forward to sort of comparing them to a Stormtrooper, which I'm not going to be able to do on this video because the rest of my um, retro figures are all sort of packed away with all my other collectibles at the moment. So we're going to get straight into this one and take a look at the Death Trooper in all his black, super-duper awesome glory. Definitely one of the best troopers to come into into canon and lore in the Disney era. It's one thing that the original trilogy always did, and that was introduce a different trooper for each film. And uh, yeah, they're definitely continuing that trend now, introducing more more troopers into the ranks, which is cool to see. So here we have. Kennerized style of the weapon that the Death Troopers use. I can't remember the damn name of it. It's too hard to remember them all. But yeah, definitely got the sort of the Kenner vibe with the handle and the and the stock there. Not the stock, the thingy me bob. Yep. So that's cool. We get the Death Trooper, mostly black. A couple of touches of silver there on the arm. Silver there on the belt. If it zoom in a little bit more so it focuses better, we get a little bit of green on the helmet for the, for the lenses and on the uh, speakers, whatever those things are called. <laughs> Again, this information is not on me at present. It's uh, hard to remember all this stuff these days. There's so much coming out. Yeah. Really, really cool. Love that they continue the trend of the helmet sort of being part of the sculpt of the torso, so you can't turn the helmet. Which would have been cool to see, um, but yeah, you know, it, it works with the uh, the stormtroopers of old and the you know the retro reproductions. So really, really cool. Who wouldn't want one of these Death Trooper toys? You know, imagine this being around it in the, in the 70s and 80s. This would have been a, you, know, you would, have, would have wanted this guy as a, like, you know, the elite of the elite Stormtroopers. I love the, love the way that the sculpt has been sort of brought into that Kenner style. It's so simple, but it works so well. Whether it's a mistake or not, there is a little bit of silver on the shoulder there. It's meant to imply a little bit of damage. But it could also just be messed up paint, which again, very much in line with the old Kenner figures, because some of them were painted pretty roughly back in the day. But I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging the Death Trooper. I'm looking forward to getting a second one, and uh, they'll definitely be standing behind Gideon. bounces off that helmet as it spins it gives that sort of green a lot more sort of luminescent look than it actually has really nice stuff again love to hear your thoughts uh, in my last video with the armor I sort of asked if you could pick three characters from a third wave of Mandalorian retro figures who would you pick what would your top three be um, and if so 
you go for a Book of Boba Fett wave? Maybe a Fennec Shand. Maybe a slightly different Boba Fett. Maybe like a Tusken Raider Boba Fett and yeah, these robes. I reckon that would be pretty sweet. A lot of potential. A lot of cool stuff. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Top three, we'll stick with Mandalorian season two. Maybe some follow-up figures. You know, sort of throughout there, maybe. I don't know. Cobb Vanth, that'd be cool. But yeah, love to hear what your thoughts are. Top three, Mandalorian, wave three, retro figures. Sound out down below. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Until then, may the force be with you, always.